So, this is my very first craft video ever. My name is Liz Toon, and I thought I'd start with a project that I just love. I've made lots of them and have been able to sew, sell them rather at craft fairs. I'm a little nervous, but I think I'll get better as time goes by. So anyway, I've got this beautiful cobalt blue bottle. Um, I was able to get these from a friend of mine who found them somewhere. But you can buy them on Amazon. They're six for 18 something. And if you make them to sell or if you make them as gifts, it's really not a bad bargain. Also, I've got a jar of assorted beads that we'll just kind of pick out as we go. And this is an amazing product because it used to be you would have to drill a hole in the bottom of the uh, bottle and shove your lights up in it and have the battery pack on the outside and it was a real mess and plus it's not the easiest thing to drill in glass you have to use water blah 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 anyway I found these just absolutely amazing little units they're uh, pretend corks they're made of some sort of plastic but they have the fairy lights attached to them and then there's a little on and off switch right on them. So it makes it so easy. You just plop them in and there you go. So love that, love that, love that. And so um, we're also going to need some, I have hemp. You can use probably whatever kind of cording that you like to string the beads. I like to decorate the beads on top, uh, decorate the bottle on top with beads and uh, some sort of twine. And um, I also have some of these white beads, not sure if I'll use them, and these silver beads. So we'll see. These beads came from um, Joann's. Some of the blue beads came from Walmart, and some of them came from Joann's. I think I may have gotten some at Michael's as well. But anyway, I just try to uh, make jars of different colored beads and use them. So I'll have them when I need them. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this little wonderful gizmo out of the package Ta -da. and unwind the light. You have to kind of be careful with this obviously because it's on a thin cord and if you break it somehow obviously it's not going to work. So I'm going to be very gentle in unwinding it. Yeah, yeah, it's coming apart. Uh-huh. Be interested in knowing if any of you, if I have any people that are watch actually watching this video, I certainly hope so, if any of you have been able to find these fairy lights like this, or if you have um, alternative ways of putting lights in bottles, I'd be very interested in knowing that if you wouldn't mind sharing the information. So, I'm going to kind of try to straighten it out. Ta -da. and then I'm going to place it within the bottle. Um, sometimes I use a nice uh, long paintbrush to kind of help push it in there. Can't really see right now because the bottle is so dark, but we will momentarily just want to get it in there first. Okay, so there's a little plastic gizmo you have to pull out that protects the battery. And, and it doesn't work. There it goes. Oh, these are the multicolored ones. I was hoping for the just the white lights, but that's okay. These will work okay. So there you go. Now that's pretty, I think, just as it is. Um, but we're going to decorate the bottle a little bit. Or I should say, I'm going to decorate the bottle a little bit. What kind of ideas do you folks have to decorate bottles? I've got lots of ideas that I'd like to show for bottles and cut bottles and all sorts of bottles. Um. Okay, here we go. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to turn it off to conserve the battery. 
And now what I'm going to do, oh yeah, we also need a hot glue gun. I don't think I said that in the beginning. So right here, put that away. It's a hot glue gun. I always have that at the ready. I use it all the time for all sorts of different projects, as well as the famous E6000. So those are my two main glues. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to cut two lines of uh, the cording. This is, what did I say it was? This is a uh, hemp, polished hemp. This is going to be probably longer than I need, but I'd like to have too much, then not enough. So I'm going to lay the bottle on its side and put a drop of glue there and attach it, the doubled up hemp, to the bottle as my start. There we go. Not dr quite dry yet, but it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, this bottle doesn't seem, oh yeah, there's a seam right there. So, should be one on the other side. Kind of hard to see on this cold blue. But anyway, so I don't want the seam to be uh, front and center. So, that's actually a good placement. I should have looked before, but that looks like it'll work. So then I'm going to take <clears throat> some more hemp. I'm going to leave it on the uh, main part of it because I don't know how much I'm going to need. And I'm going to start way on the top. I'm going to put a dollop of glue on the top. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I work in my garage mainly. But sometimes I work on my deck if the weather's nice. And uh, sometimes I work in my kitchen. Kind of all depends on what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that I'll find friends to take this journey with me and uh, maybe learn a thing or two. I'm also going to be offering some tips that I've learned through the years that I think are share worthy. So what I'm doing <clears throat> is getting glue all over my fingers. But besides that, I'm going to put, oh, I don't know, a couple of inches worth of hemp on this bottle. And I'll clean it up better when I'm done. But anyway, I'm going to put glue every now and again. And I may go over it twice depending on how it looks. So for right now, I'm just twisting the bottle, applying the hemp, and uh, I think I'll stop this now because this is going to be boring for you all, and I'll start again when I'm at the next step. Alrighty then, I'm almost through wrapping it. I decided to go around um, this part twice because it looked a little sparse, and I'm almost to the top again. And I just thought I'd show you how I uh, tie it off. Don't really tie it, I glue it. So almost there. Alrighty, so I'm gonna try to match the beginning and the end. Whoa! The beginning and the end. Oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Um I already cut it, so there's not much I can do about it. So, try to turn it around so you can see. Add a little, little dollop of glue here. Yeah, pretty well matches. It's a little short, but anyway. So I'm going to put a tiny little piece of glue right there. And I'll take my old crummy scissors and kind of lay it down there. So that is done. All right. So, and also while I was off camera, I was able to find um, the fairy lights that I actually wanted. Um, so I'll show you. And I just think that looks a lot prettier. But that's my personal taste. So. If you like the other ones, that's fine too. So my gosh, I got all sorts of 
glue spider webs on this bottle. Nothing could be done about that except taking them off. Okay, so now I'm going to hmm, have this little plastic doodad. I try to save all, all these plastic things that vegetables come in or fruits or whatever. All these little containers because they're handy. I use them to put paint in, uh, sometimes to mix um, my Mod Podge, water it down. Um, this time I'm going to use it just to dump all the blue beads and the matching beads in here and kind of figure out the ones I want to use for this project and as you see I left myself a lot <clears throat> of line here to do this so I think there's some some really pretty ones in here and what I usually do is start at the top and develop a pattern and then when I do it on the second one I reverse the pattern. I usually use five, six, seven beads somewhere in there. So let's see. Okay here's a pretty one if it'll fit and that's the other thing sometimes it absolutely does not fit. Uh, the beads don't fit unless you have very large holes like some of them like this one, for instance, has a very large hole, so that would be no problem. Okay, so as I was saying, I don't know what the heck I was saying. Um, I'm choosing beads, and so sometimes the choice of beads is limited by the thickness of the material that you're using to string them with, and in this case, as I said, it's hemp. And just to backtrack for a minute, by the way, um, these corks come from Amazon too. You just enter in something like wine cork lights and you get six of them for $11. So once again, not a bad deal. And they have little screws so that you can unscrew them. <laughs> got rid of my gum. So you can unscrew them and put in new batteries so they last a long time. Okay, so back to choosing. Um, kind of like this one. It's kind of got something that looks like thread on it anyway. It's two-toned. So I think I'll put the lighter one up if it'll fit. Hmm. Actually, the light, the darker part is also threaded, and it does go through. Ta-da! So, there you go. That looks kind of nice. And, hmm. This is actually fun, picking out the various beads. I think I'll go with this one. It's, uh, Kind of crystal with blue running through it. And sometimes you have to trim your cord and sometimes a little trick I have is put a little glue on the end of it. And you don't want to burn yourself so take a towel or a cloth or something and go like that and that kind of makes it stiffer and easier to pull through. So where was that bead? Right here. Let me try it. Find the hole. Hmm. That's kind of tight. I don't know if that's going to work. And it's not. So let's see. <clears throat> um, maybe, how about this? It's crystal. That's cool. So that goes through nicely. Hope you're able to see this. As I said, I'm new to this and I hope to get better as time goes on. Um, oh, now this is beautiful. See, it's got a nice big hole. Yeah, is a fall okay? Actually, it should go like this. I think that'll work. And I think I'm gonna try to find another one of those clear crystals and here they are. 
That goes through nicely. And something big. Hmm. This is very big. Let's see. It might look nice. You see? Uh-oh. Kind of won't go through. How about we take one of these silver ones that are long. And that goes through very nicely. How do you think that looks? Is that kind of cool? Kind of like it. Huh, okay. Mm. Here's a white one. Let's see. No, too tiny. Dun, 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 dun. Well, this one got a nice big hole and it's similar shape to the crystal, but it's kind of got a uh, silvery cast to it. And I think I want to put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, put another blue one. This is nice. See, see. Okay, so we're going to pull this down just a wee bit. And then just give it a little tie right now. We'll come back and fix that later. Just so that the beads don't slip off. And this end one's got a pretty big hole on it. so Okay, so now we're going to go in the opposite direction. We're going to find that bead again. Make a little diagonal cut on this. Um, this one, the two-toned one. Oh boy, really? Oh heck, I don't seem to have another one. Well, we'll improvise. We'll put this one on again. I have two of these, so I'll put one in the beginning and one in the end. So, life isn't perfect, correct? Correct. There we go. Now we're ready to go. Okay, so it was up and down that time. I'll make it the same way, I guess. That way it'll be opposite. Okay. There we go. So that worked out. So, uh, I'll drop it, I think, about to there, make my knot, okay, so this last bead that I put on on this side has a small hole, so just for the sake of security, whoops, there's a little wandering thread there. Um, I'm going to knot it twice, and I try to keep those knots very, very close to each other. And then, I'm going to snip it off very close. And I'm going to put a little bead of glue. Because, rest assured, if I didn't, it would come apart. And then you'd have beads dropping everywhere, and that would not be a good thing. So it's going to stick to the glass, probably, but that's okay for right now. So this one, the hole in the bead is quite large, so I may have to triple knot it, but perhaps not. We'll see. Again, keep the knots quite close together. Pull them as tightly as you can. <clears throat> Snip it close. And apply a little bit of glue. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I plan on doing videos once a week. Um, by Wednesday of each week. So I hope you look forward to them. 
as everyone says please like them subscribe if you think you're going to find these interesting and tell your friends and give me hearts give me thumbs up i mean love those love those thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye